good morning to everyone so we shall begin our session now and let the others also join meanwhile so today we have our resource person dr m gunashekaran post doc researcher shibaru institute of technology japan and his field of interest research are stability analysis control systems multi agent systems hybrid systems neural networks and its applications genetic regulatory networks non linear systems and chaotic dynamics fractional order differential equations delay differential equations the future equations and its applications complex dynamical systems and its applications complex value networks and its applications so he has got a huge amount of uh, interest and passion towards the research by seeing into his field of research and uh, its own area now we welcome dr gunashekaran to give uh, a good uh, thing on the dynamical stability control analysis uh, talk and can we all listen to him and towards the end of the uh, session we will have the queries and uh, whoever is interested into his area you can just interact with him and get all his inputs sir may i now request you to take off the session thank you ma'am welcome sir Good morning. Good morning to one and all. Um, myself is a Dr. Gunasegaran, a postdoctor as a postdoctor research fellow, Department of Mathematics, Siburo Institute of Technology, Japan. Now we will discuss now this control of nonlinear systems. So introduction for this uh, control control theory is a uh, is an interdisciplinary branch of engineering and mathematics that is concerned that with the behavior of dynamical systems with inputs how to modify the output challenges in this uh, input and feedback and feed forward or signal fil filtering this the nonlinear systems it is a decide the control system so that the output follows decide the reference signal as a sensor meter the output controller subtracts that the actual outputs from the desired reference outputs and applies the error signal is to the system to bring outputs closer that the reference the nonlinear systems at least one blocks at least one blocks system sensor and the control is the nonlinear systems now we now i introduce some uh, basic uh, definitions for the fuzzy sets um fuzzy logic is a widely used the machine control the system the item of fuzzy refers to the fact that all the logic involves can deal with the concept that cannot be expressed the true or false but rather than partially true although alternatively approach such as genetic algorithms and neural networks can perform just as well as fuzzy logic in many cases fuzzy logic has the advantages that the solution of the perform solution of the problem can be case can be cost items that human operators can understand so that their experience can be can be used in the set design of the controller this makes it is easy to the machines tasks that are already successfully performed by the humans this a fuzzy set theory first of all introduced by this Elie Zade in 1965 uh, it has been the found extensively applications in this area of the industrial and the ecologically systems and so on the fuzzy set theory is uh, usually called the classical set theory a classical set is a container that all includes or only includes any given elements the membership function mu a of 
closure set A as subset of inverse X is defined by that is the mu A of X equal to when X in belongs to A equal to one, when X is not equal to A equal to zero. That means the practical solutions for um, when the, the practical application is true, the time is one. When is the false, the time taking the values are zero. This means that the element X is either the number of sets A with the maximum membership X equal to one or not the membership mu A of X equal to zero. The grade membership is the is a real interval. That means mu of X, the set, a zero comma one, the closer set, zero comma one. This uh, grade corresponding to the degree to which the individual is similar to the competitive with the concept represented by the fuzzy subsets. Next, this is the basic definitions for the Takaki Sigino TS fuzzy models. That means uh, these fuzzy systems were initially implemented by these Japanese researchers. This uh, Japanese researcher Yamaha demonstrated use of the fuzzy control that the system is simply dedicated by the fuzzy logic shifts in an inverted pendulum experiments. Another, another uh, some research, some Japanese engineers subsequently developed by the wide range of the fuzzy systems and both are industrial and the consumer applications. That means uh, inverted pendulum and double inverted pendulum and ten track models, something like that. Um, many practical applications are using the ts fuzzy model will be very useful to uh, this method. This uh, Takagi Sugino fuzzy models of the nonlinear systems very symmetric the mathematical techniques and are successfully developed for the generating the stability and performance of the nonlinear systems. ts fuzzy systems can be viewed with some locally linear time varying systems connected by if then rules. As a result, the conventional linear systems can be applied to non-linear systems. In the literature, uh, the fuzzy approaches the stability uh, theory attracted by the many researchers using the stability and the stabilization, something like that. Uh, in this far reference, you can see this paper, we can very really useful to understand this fuzzy logic methods. And then the Dynamical equation of the the basic and nonlinear systems. Uh, generally, the nonlinear system described by the following equations: x dot equal to f of x of t and u of t. That means x of t is uh, x of x of t is the state vector and u of t is the control input and f of x of t is the nonlinear vector functions. Um, to facilitate the control designs, that means one. This is the right hand side. This right hand side you can use the multiple linear submodels using the fuzzy ts fuzzy algorithms now how to linearize for the uh, nonlinear system we can using the ts fuzzy model the general nonlinear system model one has been created the set of all fuzzy rules that means the uh, the fuzzy rule i we can using the fuzzy rule i if is it one of t is m i one this is a is it one is a premise variables m i M <coughs> i j is a fuzzy sets. That means uh, is it one is the first infamous variable you can using the first membership sets values m i one and then go to this n n premise variables is it n of t is the m i n then the linear systems x dot of a of t equal to a i x of t plus b i u of t. That means i ranges one to r and j ranges also one to r. Then in this case, we can using this um, u of t equal to zero. That means x dot, x dot equal to a x of t. This is a generally is a, we can using this uh, linear linear equations. How to find the stability? For example, we can using this x of t. That means a i a i x of a x a i x of t equal to zero. That means uh, using this um, using the Halley Hamilton approaches. That means uh, models of a minus lambda i equal to zero. We can find this uh, eigen values are which are positive or negative. We can easily find the stability. This is stable. This system is uh, the linear system is stable or not? No. Now we consider where. Now this is the fuzzy linear sub models. 
we can easily link the another approaches to lepano stability methods that means uh, where ai in this the n-dimensional matrices and then p is the uh, rectangular matrices that the fuzzy says mij and then if then rules are r the state vector is uh, x of t in r power n this premise variables is at of t the overall the output expressed as x dot equal to this uh, waiting for the summation i ranges one to r w i is it of t a i x of t divided by summation i ranges one to r is it i of t w i is it of t this is cancelled by the same systems will be included now we can using the grade membership values here is a grade membership values you can using the non-linear system will be convert to linear system they consider the grade membership values is it of is it j of t is a mij meeting the following expression this weighting function w i w i is it of t greater than zero that means that taking the initial initially this opening the closed interval zero and then taking the large member values positive and then um w i the same this is non negative or positive something then we can taking this uh the fuzzy membership h i is it of t greater than or equal to zero then total membership values are equal one where h i i is it of t equal to this uh, membership values w i is it of t divided by uh, summation i ranges one to r w i is it of t where reference is by the uh, if then roots the normalized way the system totally we can generally modify by x dot equal to summation i ranges one to r h i is it of t equal to a i x of t plus b i u of t this system will be this uh, open loop system that means uh, open loop system when we will use the closed loop system now we can introduce the control input here control input we will include include the system will be closed loop system now we include the uh, we introduce the parallel distributed convention control law this is the same fuzzy logic approaches using the when using the control input here u of t equal to k i x of t using this uh, k x of t then the normalized uh, fuzzy membership value u of t equal to summation y one two or h i of is it of t k i x of t when the system this control input was laid systems using the system four then then the system seven is uh, closed loop system that means uh, two type of here side i ranges here is side the same similar but here the input the gain matrices are different so we can introduce the another direction for the j but that means a is a different same another is a b i and k is different so we can introduce the two types i and j now we can simplify for the for your convenient um, for our convenient we can easily understand for this uh, fuzzy membership because summation i ranges one to or h i a i that means uh, h we can expect expanded h1 a1 h2 a2 then and so on h or a or taking the total total h i summation of h i equal to one the equation can be can be rewritten as that means uh, summation i raises one to r ai equal to h1 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 h2 and h1 h r and a1 that means we can take this h1 or the same take the outside h1 another one h2 outside and h r outside and then totally we can choosing the same initial one so we can this h r h1 h star h2 and then h star h star that means we can choosing the summation i ranges 1 to r summation i ranges j to j 1 to r h i h j a i that means summation h i a i that means here input summation j ranges 1 to r h j equal to 1 so this is no problem this is another one this is one big problem for this uh, this is a different kind. This that means uh, matrices are different. B i and k i. This is the dimension is different, and then um, gain matrices are different. That means uh, i b summation i ranges one to r h i b i summation j ranges one to r h j j. That means we can express to why that 
summation h i b i same as summation j raises one to r h j k j that means we can expand it by h1 b1 h2 b2 and then h r b r another one cases are h1 k1 h2 k2 and then h r k r that means we can multiply it by this one by one then h1 b1 and the total multiplication here and h2 and then total multiplication here and h r the same similar process that means h1 h1 is h1 square p1 h1 k1 and h1 and h2 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 square and the same similar process and then using the we can easily understand by uh, we can multiply e easily to modify and then finally the one one side one side for this h i square another size is different for h i and h j because the i range is one and j range is i range is i less than j that means here i less than j that means uh, mm, <coughs> I less than j. That means uh, where? B one. Ah, B I. B I here. B I here. This is a different sir, here. Sir, excuse me, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, participants want to explain little bit slow. Okay. 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 okay definitely. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Another one case is uh, uh, summation j i less than j or equal to 1 and h i h j k j b i plus uh, summation another one case i because to 1 h i k h j k j b i that means that totally we can modify it by the summation i ranges 1 to r summation j ranges 1 to r h i k j b i k j we can substitute in the equation 10, 9 and 10 we can substitute that closed loop systems we have x dot equal to summation 1 to r j ranges 1 to r h i is a top t h j is a top t that means a i plus b i k j x of t now this is a basic uh, definitions for uh, laponov stability theory the system 11 the systems 11 this is the closed loop systems. This closed loop systems we can consider for the equilibrium point x star x star equal to zero. That means that in the dynamical systems we we will say the equilibrium point. In the functional analysis, uh, this equilibrium point is a uh, fixed point. This fixed point is, is x star. In functional analysis, we can using the Banach space something like that. Using the fixed point is x star. That is the dynamical system we can generally use to this equilibrium point. This equilibrium point or fixed point, the same meanings. Um, uh, anyway, there's a closed loop systems 11, which the equilibrium point x star equal to zero, if there exists an associate Laplace functional B. This generally the Laplace functional notations will be using the B. The Laplace functional for this uh, system 11, that means the energy function, which is then x star is, is equal to zero is a Laplace stable furthermore if the taking the derivative with respect to t the Laplace functional then v dot x of t less than zero then x star equal to zero is the asymptotically stable now uh, we will introduce a uh, one uh, simple quadratic uh, quadratic uh, uh, theorem for the um, quadratic function for uh, the theorem is we can easily to the find the stability or stabilization any one if we given the k that means uh, the system is uh, stability if we kind if we find the k this gain, gain matrices um, that that problem is a stabilization problem now we can find the stability for given k for the system 11 is asymptotically stable if there oh, if there exist positive symmetric matrix p satisfy the following element whole p a i plus p i k j plus a i p plus b i k j transport p less than zero when i comma j 
equal to 1 to r. Now we can choose the Lapinov functional, the quadratic Lapinov functional vx of t equal to x times root of t plus vx of t. Now we take we can take the 13th equation taking the derivative with respect to t, time derivative with respect to t, and v dot x of t equal to x transport of t p x dot of t plus x dot transport of t p x of t. When the system x dot of t, here we know we know that this uh, system 11, this x dot of t here, a i plus b i k j. We can replace here a i plus b i k j x of t here. Another one, x transport of t, a i plus b i k j transport and p x of t here. We can easily multiply by x transport of t, p, p a i plus p i k j plus a i plus p i k j transport p in x of t. This quadratic form, this derivative proves it gives the quality for the satisfied by the linear matrix inequality less than zero, then the Lapinov functional, the derivative v dot equal to v dot less than zero when t tends to infinity, that time the system is a, the system is a asymptotically stable. Now, uh, we will confirm to uh, the, we consider for the Lorentz systems. The system is a basically, it is an unstable system. Uh, how to find the stability or stabilization? Now, for example, x1 of t, x2 of t, and x of t, the state variables, we can take the three dimensional uh, state vector pieces and uh, three, we can using the three equilibrium point and then uh, where a, b are these uh, tuning parameters and uh, their constants, let we have choosing the a equal to 10 and b equal to 8 by 3 and c equal to 28. This is, a, we, the, this is, the, this is the basic inputs. Uh, we will confirm this maximum, minimum value, this membership values here using this x1 of t. How to find the system is nonlinear? Yes, here is a 2 parameters here, two vectors is inputted here, x1 of t and x3 of t, and then x1 of t, and third third vectors is x1 of t and x2 of t. This is the same vector in x1 of t and this is x1 of t. We can do linearize here using this um, one interval d1 to d2, something that, which is using this any values you can take. The um, utilizing the TS fuzzy modeling, x dot of t equal to summation j range, i range is one to two, using the two types of, you can only one, one is the true, one and the other one is false. We can took the two membership values. So we can choose a H1 and a H2. One is a zero, another one is of one. Then uh, HI is a of T, HJ is a of T, AI plus BA, this closes this system, so already we know that. How to find? <laughs> Madam, any interaction? Yes, sir, yes, sir. I will mute this participants. Okay. Okay. This uh, generally this uh, system seventeen. How to find this uh, system is a uh, the nonlinear system is as uh, a stable or unstable? We can find this some uh, uh, some uh, some videos for uh, how to find this system is are stable and stable. This uh, this is a chiatric attractor here using this uh, uh, three types of initial inputs here using a. Uh, uh, this is uh, moving the trajectory here, here. This is uh, not convergent to origin. This near convergence to origin, then move to another. This is the uh, same rotation, not to convergent. If we can find, this is easily to find the feature. Um, the system sees a butterfly effect, that is, um, 
very difficult to find the stability and the stabilization problems. Now, uh, we have linearized the system for the input A1 and A2 here and B1, B2, and then uh, membership values are we are using the sets, we can using the convex polytopic method, the convex uh, methodology, and then using the distance formula. You can using here H1 of P equal to X1 of P minus D1 divided by D2 minus D1. Uh, H2 of Z1 of T equal to minus X1 of T plus uh, D1. Using the, the distance formula, you can easily find out this is a total membership value equal to one. When uh, the system is a control gain matrices, we are given K1 and K2. Here we are the given, there's the same input here. And then uh, already we know that A, B, and then C. And then A, B, A, B, C, already we know that here. And using the D1 and D2, this is the membership value. The, this is uh, split it by the two, part of uh, one is the uh, true another one is false now we can without the control the systems we can using the initial condition three inputs the without the control the system is uh, unstable because we can easily find this figure one the plane we can took t1 and uh, x x1 now x1 up and x2 the two right of plans we can using this uh, butterfly effect here this is a uh, this is not an origin but uh, nearest close to origin but uh, in in between not close to origin this is a moving point is uh, oscillations here this is uh, another one figure two another direction for uh, x2 and x3 this is a moving point and uh, sharing that nearest to zero but not convergence to zero another one other three dimensional space um, here this butterfly effect here we can easily understand this is the system, uh, this is a chaotic system, 17 is uh, unstable. How to uh, stabilize the system? When the control input we are given here, the system will be controlled by the state, controlled. This basically this uncontrolled system, when the system, the, when the given control gain the Laren system will be the closed system is uh, convergence to J origin. The system will be controlled. In the recent years, the recent years, this Lawrence model, and we can using the electrical type, the electrical, electrical engineering, and then using the biological modeling, and then uh, population modeling, and then. Um, um, many kind of memory stress to our circuit, everything this we can using here is uh, some memory stress values here and then using the same procedure. In, the, in this research, still now it's very hot research today. And then uh, if you have any doubt, uh, please contact. Please contact to this email. I will explain to detail everything. Thank you. Any other questions, madam? Sir, dear participants, if you have any queries, you can contact me. Uh, good morning, sir. This is Sri from Chennai. Yes. Yeah, uh, in the equation, in the equation number eight. Equation number eight. Yes. Yeah. What is the significance of taking that all the things are equal to one? Is there is any physical significance? You are adding all this. Uh, uh, this is equal to one. What is the significance? This is the significance because uh, we have choosing this. Uh, you, you know one thing. Uh, this is a basic definition. We go there. Here, this membership value you can click uh, zero to one, the closed interval. You know one thing. Um, for example, um, 
using this uh, any membership values is some distraction for example 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 total including the set 0 comma 1 but the total membership values are we can choosing this maximum one so for example Here, yes, the input. Now we can choose H1, we for example 0 0.1, another H2 equal to 0. Point, uh, something like that, 0 0.5, and then uh, H3, uh, 0 0.3, and H4 is a 0 0.2. That the taking the total membership equal to 1. Now, this non-India system, how to, how many membership value we can include it, that but that the TS PC model total membership values are equal to 1. That means uh, one is the true is a one, another one is false. In between, some partially true, that means we can take in the some membership values, 0 0.1 and 0 0.2, something like that. You can choose. Are you understand? Because of the definitions, we are taking it as one. That is the significance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sir, there is a question from the participant. Sir? Sir, ma'am? Sir, there is a question from the participant. How fuzzy is related to wavelet transform? What? We, wait a minute. Yeah, you can. This is this is generally is a nonlinear model. You know one thing. Uh, for example, x1 and x1. This is a, the x x1 of x1 of t, x3 of t. Here x1 of t, x2 of t. Here this uh, two types of is nonlinear. This is a x1, x2. This is a no problem. This x2 is a one is a nonlinear here. Another one is x3 is nonlinear here. How to linear? We can using the fuzzy rule. If then rules. If then rules. If if x1 is uh, false and the x3 x3 is x3 is this x1 is true this x1 is false this x1 is true we can choosing the two type of uh, membership values here we can choosing choosing a h1 and h2 here here using this h1 you can add it this a1 another one d1 and then a2 and this another one d2 we can choose in this here h1 plus h2 equal to 1. Okay, ma'am. Uh, sir, okay, sir. Okay, excuse Thank me, sir. You, sir. I have a question. Okay. Uh, sir, I am a BSc student, second year BSc student, and I want yeah. to learn about dynamical systems. Sir, can you please suggest uh, some books from where I can start learning? Yeah, you you can using this a uh, time delay system book. You know one thing, uh, um, Ku Ku book, something like that. Another one is a uh, um, control theory book. For the uh, Professor uh, uh, James Lamb, you can find this control theory book in James Lamb Professor in uh, Hong Kong. Um, I will I will send the, some book references to him, Professor Ravadi um, Bedam. I will send some. Ma'am, please forward to all the participants. Uh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Definitely, sir. Mm. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Any other questions?
Dear participants, if you have any queries, you can ask. Sir, yes, ma'am. Sir, there is a question from the participant. Yeah, yeah. If any non-linear model, how to choose membership values? That means the quality. What is the basic quality? Yeah. For example, if you, if you have choose, for example, when inverted pendulum, um, inverted pendulum using the some direction for angle angle measurement. For example, you can choosing the some sine theta, some cos theta. Maybe the sine theta and cos theta maybe ranges are 0 to 1 in between. You know one thing, some uh, so theta will be 90 degree, you can choose 1. And uh, 0 degree is a 0. We can add it, we can split it to the two linear system. Another one, you know, one thing uh, is a uh, briefly explained that about fuzzy neural networks and how to how it will be implemented. This is very difficult to uh, implement to fuzzy neural network. You know, one thing, uh, basically, this neural network is a uh, basically non any system. Yes, of course, definitely. But this neural network will be linearized only for the Lipschitz condition only not to use the uh, fuzzy membership values. This fuzzy membership neural networks, this fuzzy neural networks is different to another one. But uh, this uh, if then rules, it's not possible. It's very difficult, but uh, we have no choice. This is a um, fuzzy neural network, fuzzy neural, neural networks, uh, uh, this is uh, another type of tools for uh, uh, um, Fuzzy logic tools you can use, but TS fuzzy model is not applicable for the neural networks. You can, uh, my choice, you can consider for uh, Lipschitz condition. Another one, if one membership function, then what is value? Yeah, if one membership function that, that, that depends on system, depends on the non-linear system you can choose this non-linear system how to behavior that means uh, angle direction or another direction if uh, if the for example invert pendulum is uh, depending on angle direction another one um, um track track trajectory are depending on angle direction and the uh, char circuit and some circuits are depends on the vectors some uh, uh, nodes we can choose membership values for uh, depending on can we implement in matlab yeah sure we can implement in matlab matlab is a very many tools are available for in youtube some some wikipedia so you can see very basic one no problem If the angular value is between minus one to one, how do you choose? Yeah, def definitely you can choose them. If uh, if you can choose the angular between minus one to one, that means you can choose a distance formula. That one is the best of one. Indistinct fuzzy.
how so how to design of the fuzzy logic control so fuzzy logic control you can use in the um, it's a many many controllers is available fuzzy logic controller for example um linear control theory or uh, linear time variant um feed forward feed backward and the signal filtering and uh, time invariant lapano stability theory something like that you can use another one is uh, um fuzzy control you can use So basic, uh, uh, I refer to one book uh, for uh, Takaki Shigino in 1985. This Japanese professors are uh, published one paper. It is very useful for you. Another one can tell every nonlinear system is stable, but using the Lapna stability theory. Suppose we can, we have take this theta and distribute it till we can. No, every non-linear system, a non-linear dynamical system is uh, stable. No, 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 no. When, for example, in neural networks also, non-linear system. When the system will be stable, the we can use the Lipschitz condition we, using the uh, linearized one. For example, f of x of t, less than or equal to uh, some scalar and x of t, some linear case. You can using the Laplace stability, then easily find the stable. Another one possible nonlinear system you can use the fuzzy TS fuzzy model approach. We can easily to linearize. Can we use a fuzzy Bayesian interface? Bayesian interface. Uh, that means it is very difficult to use this nonlinear model. This is a that means is a this model is a interface model is a statistical probability space something like that. Feedback, feed, feedback form. Yes. Applications of dynamical systems of fuzzy. This is many applications. You know, one thing already I told you. This is a char circuit and then memory system and then uh, Mm, populations models is a many applications you can use the it's a fuzzy is one of the tool you, i think you are the misunderstanding this fuzzy fuzzy logic is a one of the tool for the non-linear system this convert to linear system yeah sure definitely i will share you your mail uh, stephen I will send my BPT. Sure, sure.
participants any further questions <laughs> there is no question shall we wind up sir yeah geeta ma'am revathi we can wind up revathi okay ma'am okay, ma and i would request revathi to propose vote of thanks thank you ma'am our honorable resource person of today's webinar on control of non linear dynamical systems respected learner teachers and my dear friends good morning it is my pleasure and privilege to propose vote of thanks on behalf of organizing committee the roots of all goodness lies in the soil of appreciation with this quote i must mention my deep sense of appreciation to professor dr n gunasegaran post doctoral fellow department of mathematical sciences cybera institute of technology japan for accepting my invitation immediately in this busy schedule and sharing this important work and opinions towards the control of nonlinear dynamical systems and ts fuzzy model how to linearize the nonlinear system sir it is very much useful to us for our further research thank you sir thank you once again for your remarkable presentation thank i you, wish to express my, thank you sir i wish to express my gratitude to our management principal dr c palni sami sir dean pds dr sevakumar sir and professor research for supporting us in all our endeavors it is also ex, i also extend my thanks to our head of the department dr p geeta ma'am for perfect logistic support and guidance i also extend my thanks to our participants from all over the world including saudi and oman my vote of thanks wouldn't be perfectly completed if i am not thank my coordinators and organizing committee members once again i want to state that we the organizing committee member are grateful to resource person of the day and all the participants thank you all thank you very much thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you all the participants i request all the participants to please kindly fill in the feedback box